The Quileutes have been a small tribe from the beginning, but we have always had magic in our blood. We were great spirit warriors, shapeshifters, that transformed to the powerful wolf. This enabled us to scare off our enemies and protect our tribe. One day, our warriors came across a creature. It looked like a man, but it was hard like stone and cold as ice. Our warrior's sharp teeth finally tore it apart, but only fire would completely destroy it. They lived in fear that the cold man was not alone, and they were right. She took her vengeance out of the village. Our elder chief, Taha Aki, was the only spirit warrior left to save the tribe after his son was killed. Taha Aki's third wife could see that he would lose. The third wife was no magical being, no special powers but one, courage. The third wife's sacrifice distracted the cold woman long enough for Taha Aki to destroy her. She saved the tribe. Over time, our enemies have disappeared but one remains, the cold ones. Our magic awakens when they're near, and we sense it now. We feel the threat in our blood. Something terrible is coming, and we must all be ready, all of us. What did you do to me? I'm so... Yeah, I know. We'll find you someone to drink. Mine! Just try not to get killed, will ya? I'm gonna need numbers. Seattle is in a state of terror. Police are baffled by the escalating murders and disappearances. Theories range from a vicious new gang to a wildly active serial killer. Reporting live, Don Shubay, CNN. We might have to do something. It takes more than one of our kind to cause the damage they're reporting. Quite a few more. And they're undisciplined, conspicuous. It's newborns. What, like new vampires? In the first few months after the change. That's when we're at our most uncontrollable. Vicious. Insane with thirst. Something to look forward to. No one's trained these newborns, but this isn't random. Someone's creating an army. But now we're definitely going to Seattle. An army of vampires? And they'd be created to fight someone. We're the only clan even close to Seattle. Regardless of why they were made, if we don't put a stop to them, the Volturi will. I'm surprised they let it go on this long. Or maybe they're behind it. In Italy, I read Arrow's mind. He wants me and Alice to join him, but he knows we'll never choose him as long as our family is still alive. An army could solve that for him. Hey, did you eat dinner yet? Uh, no, I haven't. This kid, Riley Beers, disappeared over a year ago. And his poor parents have been papering Seattle with these things ever since. You think they should just give up? Well, I wouldn't. If it were you, not ever. I have to figure out what to tell the people. Why I won't be home for Christmases, and why I won't visit, why they'll never see me again. After a few decades, everyone you know will be dead. Problem solved. Why are you so against me becoming like you? I told you. Be honest with me. There's more. I know the consequences of the choice you made. I've lived through it. And to let you suffer that, you believe I have a soul, and I don't. But to risk yours, just for the sake of never having to lose you, that's the most selfish thing I'll ever do. I thought that you were afraid that I'd be too different. You know, like, I wouldn't be warm. I wouldn't smell the same. You'll always be my Bella. My Bella just less fragile.